And here's the video review for the bendable metal sonic figure from wave two of the bendy sonic figure line um uh here he is um first of all let's take a look at this guy this is a it initially came like this all right it's a little disc figure of shadow and it unfolds like so. There's a little stand here that you can put them on. And you have your own little mini figure of shadow of sorts. That's kind of cool. And the sprites from Sonic Battle, which is very neat indeed. Considering nowadays, that's considered an older game. Um, but here's Metal Sonic. Um, once again, he looks like he is pulled right out of the games. Um, this looks like a 3D printed model right out of the games. If I had but one nitpick, I would say the paint isn't too great. Uh, there are several spotches. Bleh, there are several places on the figure where... I feel the paint, the paint could have been done a little better. Um, especially when you look at, like, say, Knuckles here from Wave 3 of the line. And the paint on him is just so much better. Um, but aside from that, I have zero nitpicks. Um, his head is on a ball joint, so you can flex him all over the place if you want. Um... The detail is there. You can see little joints in his fingers there. He's got the turbine there on the back, which is very nice, very accurate to the games. And he's got this thing. In Sonic the Fighters, this kind of this is like a laser weapon, which is very which is very cool. There's the bottom of his excuse me. There's the bottom of his feet there, which I think is really cool that looks really neat again he does have that effect where if you turn him around um when you play the games you're essentially looking at this you know you're looking at just this he does have that kind of thing where the back of his head looks really cool i like having his head down like that it's kind of intimidating looking um, the colors are pretty accurate. He's got blue and light gray. It should be metallic, but I guess they can't put metallic colors on a on a bendy figure. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Again, the again the only thing I the only thing I would fix is the paint. Other than that, it's not too shabby. Um, I guess we can compare him to Shadow here. There's no metal Shadow, unfortunately. There never really has been. But there's been characters that are equivalent to like a metal Shadow kind of character. Like uh, the Shadow Androids from Shadow's own game. And um, Eclipse the Darkling from the Sonic Archie comics. And... Uh, the one I think is most like Metal Sonic for Shadow is uh, is Mephilus from Sonic 06. Um, let's get uh, a little teaser for the next review here. Huh. Yeah. It's not really accurate for Metal Sonic to be bigger than Sonic himself, but I actually kind of like that idea of Metal Sonic being bigger than... Sonic. Here's Boom Knuckles. Now this actually works because in, in Sonic Boom, uh, Metal Sonic looks pretty identical to uh, how he looks in the main game series. So this could still work as a comparison. And as you saw earlier, here's Knuckles. Now, I thought Knuckles was bigger, but they're actually about the same size. Knuckles is just a bit bulkier in the hands and the feet and the head.
and get one of his brethren out here. Here's a crab meat, again, from Sonic Boom. But again, the comparison could still work because, again, he's not that different from his Boom counterpart. And then finally, finally, Knuckles' his basketball. There we go. <laughs> and as for Shadow, um, I guess this guy kind of works as a Black Arms alien. He could, potentially. The Black Arms, you know, the, the alien race from Shadow's own game. Yeah. Yeah, so that was a quick review of the Jack Specific Bendable Metal Sonic figure from Wave 2 of that figure line. Uh, very nice. Again, the only, thing I, the only thing I would really fix is the paint. Other than that, it's not too shabby. So, um, yeah, I'll see you next time.